Super Bowl 50 is quickly approaching. You know, I'm excited. I hope you guys are pretty excited just as much. I've been following the season. This is my first time. I really, I've, as I've grown up, you know, watching sports has not really been my forte. But, you know, I love to get out there and play the sport. So being able to sit down for a season and be able to watch the whole progression is really awesome because I get to really feel as if I'm a part of those teams. And for me, I feel like both teams are bringing something, you know, it's really special to the actual gridiron. And I think that's exactly why I'm really so passionate about being able to watch it. Which brings me to the point. We're going to be showing the game here at the HQ, Geekly's HQ, which is 1500 Jackson Street. And we're going to have food, we're going to have prizes, we're going to have drinks, we're going to have the screens being played uh, with Madden 16, and we're going to have the game on the big projector. So feel free to come. You can be able to talk to us. You know, you get insight about the application. That's the biggest part about it. If you come, we really want to take these opportunities to really speak about the application so you guys who are gamers can really benefit from it. And even if you're not a gamer and you want to look at tournament hosting as a way for you to earn some extra income, you can be able to look at it from that perspective just this much. So come by, you know, talk to us. We'll be free to give you that information. And then also, I want to give a recap of PAX South 2016, which is a convention that was hosted in San Antonio of over 40,000 gamers that shares the same passion of video games. That's awesome to be able to look at that and experience that energy. I really went there to be able to experience Twitch. Now, Twitch had a town hall meeting there, and basically what it does is they speak on the future endeavors of Twitch. Now, when Twitch was first actually released, it was geared towards video game broadcasting, which is the reason why we applied the API data to our site. So therefore, these tournament hosts and the gamers can be able to apply their Twitch ID and individuals outside uh, outside of Geekleaks can be able to watch it. All they have to do is just log into Geekleaks and they'll be able to, like, geekleaks.com and they'll be able to see the uh, broadcast through the system, which is awesome. You know, which is awesome. So I wanted to be able to take that opportunity to go and speak to these individuals of Twitch and then hear their insights about the, you know, the future endeavors of the actual site. You know, also, it was really good to be able to see the new developers of new games within the convention, you know, so you see games that, you know, will blow your mind just being able to watch it. And I am speaking on a really, really passionate nerd voice right now. And it's, you know, that's usually how I get, especially when I'm around technology. So, you know, mind that just a little bit. Awesome. We also got to be able to experience Quentin Rampage Jackson. Now, I didn't really notice him at first. I know I played him on UFC when it first came out because he was really brute. And like, if you really just wanted to get the fight on really quick, you use this guy. And then so I was able to, you know, see him. And I seen individuals taking pictures and videos, but it didn't click to my head. And so when I noticed that was him, I was just like, hey, you know, this is a perfect opportunity to talk about Geekly. Show him the platform. So I did. I just went up to him and said, hey, you know, we're actually creating something that'd be beneficial to the individuals that are out there that are playing video games. And he was just like, well, what is it? And so I was able to show him the application. And it was really good to see his response like, hey, this is really, really cool. And it looks really good. And I thought that was awesome to be, you know, the highlight of the whole trip. I don't know what's going to come after that. You know, we shall see. I don't want to speak on it. I don't want to ruin no karma or no luck or anything. You know, we will see in the future. And so I also want to speak on if you guys are very aware or if you're not aware of what's going on right now, when this video released, the individuals who are professional gamers at Madden 16 are competing for the championship. It's called the Madden 16 Draft Championships that are going on right now. These individuals are competing for $20,000, and I think that's awesome, especially for the evolution of esports. So I will make sure I add the link so you guys can tune in and watch these, specifically if you think you're the best at Madden. You'll be able to watch these guys who are really, really good at Madden, and you know, you'll see how you weigh up. If you feel like you can compete, I hope in the future that I can make sure that that happens. That's, the, that's what I hope to be able to do with this whole platform that's being created for you guys. Um, also, let's see what else. Development. So, as you guys know, you know, we've been pushing the date, 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 date back, and it's because we've been trying to actually create a whole new designs based off the insight that we've been given uh, from the gamers out there, which is awesome. You always want to take in insight. So, right now, we're actually migrating more code onto the site. So, if you guys have been having a chance to play around with it, just experience, just know that you're going to get to see some new features installed inside of the application. So I know I'm quick and I want to make this really quick and I hope I was really informative to you for you guys. So take it easy and I'll see you next week.